DTP Entertainment AG Cranberry Production Bonjour à la team YouTube, j'espère que vous allez bien, j'espère que vous êtes confortablement installés. N'hésitez pas à aller vous chercher quelque chose à boire, de ce qu'on quelque chose à manger. Installez-vous confortablement, c'est parti. On y va pour Black Mirror, let's go. En 1969, Black Mirror, England, en Angleterre. C'est en français le jeu. C'est Samuel C'est Samuel ou pas Est-ce que c'est Samuel Dom vous dit coucou à la team YouTube. Dom Tom Gamer vous dit coucou. On est... Ah ouais, c'est lui Where are you C'est un bouton. Samuel Et on va voir un scar. Are you there Please, say something. You wouldn't just disappear anymore. I've been looking all over for you. Ow! What, what's wrong with you? I don't know who you are. I don't know my own husband. You disappear every night. You only talk when it's absolutely necessary. Where is the man that I married, Samuel? I want my husband back! <gasps> <gasps> What have I done? What? What? What the hell have I done? Oh no! I, I didn't want this! No! 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 Mais ça commence bien, hein Vous en pensez quoi Hein En 1993, dans le Maine, c'est aux états unis Dans le Maine Avec Justin Bieber Quel début, mais ouais Chapitre 1 de The Black Mirror 2 Vous êtes prêts Alors attends, on est en 1993, c'était en 1969, ça fait combien d'années après Je suis nul en maths. Get on with it Stick the damn fuse back in I want to open the store Ok. Donc nous, on est Justin Bieber, c'est ça Quand une nouvelle entrée s'ajoute dans votre journal, un symbole clignotant apparaît en haut à gauche de l'écran. Mais ça c'est ma droite, hein, mais c'est pas grave. Hein. Ouvrez votre journal en cliquant sur cet indicateur ou en appuyant sur les boutons D et J. Ok. Un old clothes dummy. Oh, judging by the smell, it's been damp at some point. Now it's just moldering away. I wouldn't accept it as a present, even if it didn't stink. Merci, merci. Ok. A light shaft with a grill. Leads up to the backyard. The hinges on the basement grill are rusted. 
No idea if you could open it. And even if you could, it'd squeak like hell. Yeah, no, no. The fuse! The fuse, man! Open your eyes! Okay, calme-toi, Benoit. That rickety pallet is blocking my view of the lower shelves. I can't see what's behind there. That rickety pallet is blocking my view of the lower shelf. Mais euh, bouge-le, Benoît. Ok. Oui, c'est visible. An old dust encrusted fuse box. There are a lot of wires coming out of the top of it, which then run along the, the floor joists. <laughs> Doesn't look exactly safe. Pourquoi il y a des mannequins et tout C'est bizarre ça. Let's see. A few plastic containers, bottles and boxes, light bulbs, cables, grease. Uh huh. And a small carton of fuses. Ah. Hopefully the fuses work. You never know in this place. You think you'll be done today? How long does it take to install a new fuse? Calme-toi. Hmm. There's just one fuse left in the box. But at least it looks unused. I reckon it's still out of work. Okay, on a notre fuse. Et mais lui, si il me laisse pas le temps de le faire, je vais être le meurtrier. Okay, then. Premier meurtre du jeu, on va tuer lui. Just like everything else of Fuller's. Pretty well junk. I think I can swap a fuse over without needing instructions. Non, mais moi j'ai besoin d'instructions. Hein? The blown fuse must be under here. Huh, Fuller's already had a go at it. But again, he couldn't sort it out. Eh? The three other fuses look fine. But this one's had it. I should throw that away. Otherwise I'll get mixed up. Now all I have to do is put a good fuse in. Now all I have to do is put it. Ah, well, that's that. Now all we need is some power. Okay, so let's have a look. J'ai jamais changé de fusil, je sais pas comment faire. Let there be light. Très long Don't siège. need this anymore. Some de photo of a beach in an ocean. There are millions of pictures like this. They all look the same somehow. Some photo of a beach in an ocean. A battered paint can with about half an inch of dust on the lid. Photo developer. Looks like it's been there for a while, but the bottle's still sealed. So it could still be good. Fuller will hardly miss it. And even if, I can live with it. Dr. Rainbow's Finest, Pearly White 85. I don't think I can recall having seen one pearly white thing in this whole building. If I want to look at awful pictures, then I can do it upstairs in the store. If I want to look at awful... Okay. Well. So let's go up. A wonderful working day awaits, full of appreciation and deep personal fulfillment. Ugh. Finally! You make a big deal about going to college, but you're too sappy to replace a fuse. Put that board outside in front of the store. Get on with it! The picture frames could do with being a little more professionally presented. But to be honest, they don't really deserve it. Fuller. No? That's Fuller's camera. It's quite a good one. Huh. 
If good technology would make up for missing talent, then a complete idiot like Fulla could shoot good pictures with it. Il a fait les tests Covid ou pas? You know, <laughs> that, that idiot's kit really isn't too bad. <laughs> it's pretty peu, ouais. expensive. The lights look brand new. He's Mais definitely attends. not had them for long. <laughs> c'est un photographe? Ah non, mince, c'est pas ce que je voulais faire. Je. Non, mais pardon. Non, remote. Euh... Surtout qu'il nous a dit de mettre un. <rire> Many of the things here are overpriced. But that's obvious. There's only one photo store in town. He takes advantage of that. Ah. Simple reflex cameras for private use. Nothing special. The postcards all show scenes from New England. They're the regular cards you see everywhere around here. Who should I send the card to? My fellow <laughs> white bread students who I hardly know? Or my mom who lives a couple of houses away? Mais il va recracher ses poumons lui hein. Dans la chambre noire on peut y aller Vas-y. J'ai jamais développé de photo, vous l'avez déjà fait vous Oh Oh Il y a quoi dans le placard Un squelette rather battered locker. Water and all sorts of other liquids have splashed on its door and left. I told you! I want you to put out that damn sign! I'll concentrate on my job first before Fuller completely loses it. Okay, bon, on va pas se faire tuer par Fuller. Spot. Perhaps the store used to do better before, and he had some savings. Or maybe he bought the new lights on credit. The store couldn't have paid for them, that's for sure. Bon, il veut que je mette ça là. The store isn't doing very well. <laughs> I don't think a cheap sign is gonna change that. <sighs> oh. Someone's going to it. Huh? You've put it the wrong way around. Uh, oh. Yeah. Lol, la honte. Mais c'est le même. D'un côté ou l'autre Ah, parce qu'il y a la flèche. Ah, la tête. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're at just the right place. Black and white photography is my specialty. Wonderful. So let's get started. My name is Angelina. Oh, I'm Darren. Let's go inside. to get some portraits done. Ooh. Very good. We can start right away, dear lady. Comment il parle Ah non, j'aime pas ça du tout. I thought Darren would What? But he's just an errand boy. A pretty child like you deserves a real photographer. Here. Go and pick up the post and take this letter to Mrs. Biba in the diner in the main square. I've got things to do. La voix de pervers, tout à fait. Les paroles aussi pervers. Il devrait pas la laisser toute seule dans le magasin. I can't go in there until I've done all of Fuller's jobs for him. He'd lay into me right in front of Angelina. And I'd like to avoid that if possible. But she seemed to see through him pretty fast. She can see what an asshole he is. Most of the pictures here in the window weren't taken by Fuller. In some moment of blinding inspiration, he must have decided to get some proper photographers to promote his business. Of course, they have no idea just how lucky they've been. Place centrale. Place populaire. Promenade portuaire. Je sais. A life belt. Years ago, there were pirates around here who used to lure ships under the rocks. They used to light false beacons, and once the ships had run aground on the rocks, they'd row out and rescue the cargo. 
pretty senseless driving around Maine in a convertible. But I reckon that's not what it's really about. It was expensive, and that's what counts. Pretty senseless driving around. young woman. She looks sad. A young woman. Um, everything okay? No, it's not actually. Um... Carrie died here two years ago. She was my best friend. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, how did it happen? You're not from around here. No, uh, I'm from Boston. I'm spending the semester break at uh, my mother's. Yes. Well, Carrie committed suicide. No one knows why. Everyone loved her. She was intelligent and always happy. I think there's still a picture of her in old Fuller's display window. A young woman with dark hair and green eyes. Yes, I know that picture. A really pretty woman. She had so many friends. After studying, she wanted to open a kindergarten here in Bedford with her husband, Jason. I just don't understand it. From one day to the next, she changed completely. It became really reclusive. She was depressed and melancholic all the time. No one could reach her anymore. Not even Jason. Even though they loved each other more than anything. Then one day, she just threw herself into the sea. And no one knows why? No one. Jason has never gotten over it. He couldn't help her. A few months later, he married that brainless bimbo with a convertible. He probably just felt so lonely. It's definitely got nothing to do with love. <laughs> he must have been really lonely. Excuse me. I'd rather be alone right now. Uh, of course. I'm sorry. Back there is where the harbor ends and the natural shoreline begins. Just miles and miles dotted with lone houses. Often guest houses and hotels with views over the ocean. Biddeford isn't really a port, but there are plenty of boats here. Mostly sailboats. La ville a l'air sympa, non Moi, j'aimerais bien aller faire une petite visite. C'est mignon, c'est un petit côté tout mignon. Him, Jason, I need a new car, urgently. Oh yeah. And then What can I say It's parked right outside. You can't be serious. Sure, I'm being serious. A convertible, totally cute. Girl, you're just gonna have to show me later. The oh, clock yes. must be busted. There's no way I'm not At least going it'll be right that. twice a day. <sighs> An armchair. And in this weather. Doesn't look too uncomfortable. You lying. Mm -hmm. And what would want to sit down in this shop well, with the charming Rosie? Sitting there. <laughs> well, An she didn't deserve wheel. anything better. It's but supposed that's not to endow all. a certain you maritime joke. charm. There's more? I guess. Yeah, now get this. I reckon that the local tourist board is missing something of a hook for this place. Fork truck I mean, Pete just can't what is they here that's that kind of special? Hey, it's me, okay? And I'm telling you, she saw him herself. I am definitely not but gonna sit in that. doesn't look as cute as my new convertible. A stand well, hardly, displaying a million travel guides. Weren't we going new to go England, for a little ride? Quebec, uh, yeah, England, I'm Wales, about to have Holland, my lunch break. the national parks of the uh, USA, yeah. Tuscany. Hong Kong, etc., etc. We had Ilicos. And what did your Jason say to that? A stand. He doesn't know a thing about it yet. Mmm, you go, Coffee girl. mugs, little lighthouses, badges, okay. mini girl, life belts with beta fun stamps. What are you thinking of? Plastic house You're numbers, porcelain lobsters, what was that story again? plastic with lobsters, car? wooden lobsters, metal lobsters. What more can the tourist heart yarn for? It's parked right outside the shop. 
Ooh, Those then are we can go for a ride flags. on my lunch break. Some very but stylish. But isn't that still a way Some off? completely not. So what is going on with Fortress? I reckon the big ones must sister, be for uh, What's her face? Not the sister. That's Matt's cousin. I think I'd rather too. my hand fell I off she before was... I took any of those with me. <laughs> Il aime pas les the main state flag always looks more like a beer and company. Then I said to, to him, Jason, I At need a got new an car urgently. That's oh, yeah. nice. And then? What can I say? So what it's have we got here? Right outside. New Hampshire. You can't be serious. Canada. Sure, I'm uh, being something serious. Something or other I don't recognize. Convertible. New totally Brunswick cute. or Quebec, Girl, perhaps. You're just gonna have and of to course, show me later. the obligatory oh, stars yes, and stripes no in every imaginable shape and size. T'as raison, on dirait deux Sims qui se parlent, lol. Mais elles arrêtent pas. Je... Enfin, elle a fini, elle, bientôt, pas. No, thanks. And I don't have a boat. Weather, and if I did, lion. I'd be sailing under the skull and crossbones. Well, he just left her sitting or maybe there. a Popeye flag. Huh. Well, she Something didn't deserve anything better. These. But that's not all. You joking. There's more? Yeah, now get this. Huh. Every possible kind of form. Garbage and large Fork object collection, telephone rerouting. Kind of thing. Here's a form hey, from the me, okay? Make Our Town Prettier you, Committee. She saw him herself. My mom's on the board of but that one. Surely it, doesn't it seems look you should send in suggestions for improvements around the town. Well, hardly. I'm not interested in these forms for residents. For I've got a few yeah, things going I'm on, about which to have my lunch this break. town could be a little ah, more yeah. interesting. But I don't hold out much hope for success for them. And what did your Jason say to that? Handbills for he local know events. A thing about Brand it new year bazaar. Mm, you go, it's girl. a go-go dance now till don't you, you drop. Go telling anyone, oh, okay? Man. Girl, of course I will. The won't. other stuff, what small ads. This You're is where the locals sell the junk they no longer what need. What was that story again? Lawnmowers, baby cribs, record players. I'll pass. Where is it then? It's parked right outside the shop. Um, excuse me? Have you got something wrong with your ears? No, <laughs> I just wanted a package. Hmm. Something wrong with your eyes then? Huh? Listen, I'm talking here. Can't you see that? Yeah, I can see you as clear as day, unfortunately. But I have to collect a package for Fuller at the photo store. There'll be no line jumping in this store. You're online, okay? Now wait until I'm ready. Ugh, the young kids today. Always. <gasps> I'm always having a fight with them. Bad parents, that's what it is. So tell me, what's happening with your new car again? A convertible, so cute, in beautiful red, and all the best upholstery and everything. Oh, you Super earned service it. Here, on cuisine, oh, you. We'll take a little quoi. spin later. Comment je fais? Uh, hello? Might I get served here? Of course. Just as soon as I'm through with this customer. And that will be when? When she's lying on the floor with blood streaming out of her ears? Well, really. I'll serve the lady for as long as I see fit. We spell service with a capital S in this store. Yeah, I can see that. Ugh, the young kids today. Always. I'm always having a fight with them. Bad parents, that's what it is. So tell me, what's happening with your new car again? A convertible. Donc ça, est sa voiture, on est that car belongs to the world record talking lady from the shop. Hmm, that could be useful. Busy. Wait. 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 Oh, my convertible! Ooh, cool, cool, comme ça là. Fais attention à ton vernis, hein, en passant la porte. Excusez-moi, je devrais pas me moquer des gens. Hello, is it something like my turn now? Please, don't let me rush you. <sighs> what do you want? I'm supposed to collect something for Fuller. From the photo studio? Collection note? Oh, dis donc, le service, hein. This is the one, right here. Have you still got another note? There's another package for Fuller here. Uh. 
Il nous manque une note. Uh, afraid not. Can I take it anyway? Hmm. I might turn a blind eye for nice customers. So you're not gonna give it to me then? Hell no! Mm. Euh, on a aussi une lettre, je crois, à lui donner. Ah non, c'est pas pour elle. Zut. A well-sealed package. Not very heavy. I can hear a light tinkling. As though there were glass bottles or something inside. D'accord, on va éviter de trop le secouer. A letter from Fuller. I'm supposed to give it to Mrs. Oh, Biber in the diner. She works behind the counter there. Okay. Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? There's a really pretty young lady I've seen walking mm. around here. Uh, do you know her? Mmm, you had a real good look at her, didn't you? Do you know her? Well, I wouldn't say no. She came in here and asked about a photo studio, so I sent her up to Fuller's. She interrupted a conversation I was having with a friend. Can you believe that? Ha! <laughs> no way! I don't believe it. Alors attendez, je viens de réaliser, ma caméra elle bloque un peu, est-ce que c'est pas mieux si je mets ma caméra de l'autre côté Peut-être que ça va bloquer moins de dialogue si je mets ma caméra ici Vous en pensez quoi What brings someone like her, or maybe even you, here to Biddeford Someone like me You mean a fat woman in a state full of fitness freaks You're one charming kind of guy, aren't you No, no I meant, why would someone as unfriendly as you work in a town tour shop of all places? Well, you ain't exactly a picture of politeness yourself. But I don't work in a tourist shop either. Okay, look. I grew up in New Jersey. My father didn't think the neighborhood was good for me or my brothers and sisters. So he got himself a job in a paper mill and dragged us all up here. Satisfied with that? And you just weren't able to get yourself a job in construction or, or driving a truck? Look, you shouldn't go trying to take on someone like me. You're punching way above your weight, son. Ha! Huh, I can't deny that. Hey, Rosie, uh, did you know Carrie, Jason's first wife? Of course I knew her. I know everyone in Biddeford. At the end of the day, this is the only post office. And what was she like? What's that got to do with you? I just wanted to chat a little. Well, we never spoke too much. She was always so quiet. No comparison with Juliet. At least with her, you can have a decent conversation. Jason's so lucky he got her now. That really wasn't a lie for a guy like Jason. With someone like that dragging him down? Now, at least he's got a life. Ah, so lucky. Just between you and me, one shouldn't speak ill of the dead. But that Carrie, she was always a little strange. Uh-huh. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. That's Miss Rosie, the store lady. She might not be the world's greatest employee. And I presume nobody's ever quite dared to tell her that fact. Got full this package. I don't want to distract this broad. Hmm? Nice. Okay. Oh, c'est beau ici. Jebediah Biddeford or something like that, I guess. Honestly, I've got no idea who that is. The city's founder, a mayor, a benefactor. What do I know? What a flashy thing that is. Probably some tourist cool ride. Europeans in particular confuse New England with California and think they should be driving around in convertibles or Mustangs. Most of the year, an open top car is a bad idea around here. With that kind of weather, Biddeford should make the raincoat a national uniform. Ah, c'est des lampes A 
red, white, and blue string of lights. God bless America. Burgers, fries, and drinks. J'ai faim. What more could you need? J'ai faim maintenant. I haven't seen such an old bubblegum machine for years. Belongs to the diner. They do that whole nostalgia thing in there too. Sit in far away. Oh, thanks. A red, white, and blue. The diner's run by Mr. and Mrs. Biber. It's not a bad joint. It's done up like a 1950s diner. Yeah, well, at least how we imagine the 50s were. Yeah, just down the street. Thanks a lot. Il y a le docteur avec son truc de docteur et tout comme ça. Some people. Ouais. Il dit même pas pardon. Madame Biba. Madame Biba. That's Mrs. Biba, I think. As far as I can understand it, she runs this place with her husband. J'aime bien l'ambiance du restaurant. Vous en pensez quoi? C'est sympa. Um, excuse me. I'll be right there. L'équipe complète pour le tout pub lol. L'équipement. What can I get you, my boy? Actually, I'm I'm here to give you something. It's it's from Fuller in the photo store. Psst. Hey, come over here. <gasps> Y'a des secrets. I can guess what this is about. The dirty old swine. I should have known. Vermin ain't so easy to get rid of. Tell him. Parce qu'elle a trompé son mari avec Fuller. Et du coup, il l'a fait chanter. Claire, you gonna talk all day? The customers are waiting. Get out of here and tell your boss he can go to hell. Jeez, what the hell was that all about then? She sure didn't seem to be a fan of Fuller's. I got that much. And the guy in the kitchen, he sure wasn't supposed to see that she had mail. Ah, it's supposed they're to supposed to represent something like portholes. In reality, they're glazed display cabinets. The rear panels of the display cabinets are painted blue. They both have underwater scenes with plastic fishes and lobsters on them. A big, ugly plastic lobster. Not particularly appetizing. The moose is the emblem of Maine. But the lobster is a close second. Kitschy. And that's about it. <laughs> what would a 50s bar be without a jukebox? The world's just wonderful and Excuse me. also very happy type music. It just isn't my thing. If there was maybe a Pearl Jam track on it, then I'd give it a play. But Buddy Holly doesn't quite do it for me. Oh. A man in a white lab coat. In his 40s, I'd say. Could be a doctor. A man in a white lab coat. On peut pas lui parler? J'aime bien la pancarte ici. Non coat. mais la pancarte, pas le... D'accord, c'est pas grave. Laisse tomber. Non, pas la sortie. Attends, 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 attends. attends. Non, on n'a pas fini. Allô Mais Qu'est-ce qu'il nous dit Yes, and you are Oh, excuse me. My name is Newhouse. I'm a doctor at the health center. Sans blague. <laughs> at the health center You mean at the hospital out there Well, yes. Sans blague, ça se voit pas, monsieur. We're at the Biddeford Health Center. We, we aren't just a hospital. We have yoga courses and cookery courses and... And what do you want from me I... Yes, I know your mother, Darren. We had a date here this morning, to be more precise. Me and her. We wanted to hang up some pictures your mother painted in the health center. Yes, and she... She's not there. She's normally always... She's always punctual, isn't she? This kind of thing never happens. Look, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'll give her a call, okay? As soon as I'm back in the store. 
Ils ont eu rendez-vous combien de fois Parce qu'il a, il a dit elle est toujours à l'heure, ça n'arrive jamais. It never happens. Donc attends, ils ont eu, attends, soi disant pour des tableaux à peinture et tout là. Oui bon, euh, vous fricotez avec ma mère depuis combien de temps docteur hein Interrogatoire. Qu'est-ce que vous lui voulez à ma mère Qu'est-ce que tu veux ma mère, toi He's sick. That disgusting pig. What's going on? Your lovely boss. Does he always try to grow his customers? No, only the women. That's not funny. Uh, no, of course not. What can I say? Fuller's an asshole. Well, he's never going to see me again. Terry, would you bring the photos to the hotel? Uh, uh, of course. My pleasure. Thanks, Dan. That's really nice of you. I'm staying at the Wild Coast. Room number five. Okay, no problem. No problem. You'll have them this afternoon. Thanks. Il faut les suivre. Hey, you're gonna gawk her ass right off. Whatever the bitch said, it's all a dirty pack of lies. Sure. Back to work. Hey, you got the package? Yep. Well then, give it to me. How'd the photo shoot go? Ah, uh, shut up. I only mean the young lady who... That alley cat's gone, okay? No little goodbye kissy for little Darren. So now, get to work. The shelves here could use with the dusting and the gutters leaky. And you still gotta take my mama's dogs for a walk. Go back to the post office again and ask if the new photo paper's already arrived. The mailman still hasn't brought a collection note. And the store could also do with a good sweeping. He's cranky. Wow. I guess Angelina did a number on his ego. Nice job. Okay then. But before I start with all that stuff, I'd better give Mom a quick call and remind her she was gonna take the pictures to the hospital. And somehow I've gotta get a hold of the film so I can make some prints of Angelina's pictures without Fuller catching me doing it. No wonder Fuller needs some distraction. You don't even get five customers a day in here. <laughs> uh, all amounts are made of a kind of press card. You can stick photos into them to make them easier to hang. The drawback is that they can get easily dusty. Je confuse. Oh, ça va sûrement être un puzzle, ça. Un old time cuckoo non. clock. A testament to Fuller's fine taste for stylish interior decoration. I think Fuller took his mother on a world tour a few years back. Might be a kind of souvenir. Nothing stands out. Perhaps this little angular hole on the clock face. Is that how you wind it up? Nothing stands out. Hey, there's a small opening. I could easily fit my finger in there. Let's see. It seems to be a, a mechanism to wind it up. Behind it is a little button. I can't wind the clock up, but I can push this button. Oh, it's falling, baby. C'est bon. Oh, 
J'ai cru qu'on allait se faire engueuler. A used up, chewed up ballpoint pen. He definitely doesn't need it anymore. And if he does, well, even better. Should I go through Fuller's garbage? Well, that would mean going through the whole house. I don't think so. What have we got here? The US, uh, Hawaii, something illegible, and Europe. Fuller smeared half of it with his filthy paws. A greasy map of the world. My World Tour is written next to it. A few places are marked. The USA, around Utah, Arizona. Then over to Hawaii. Afterwards comes North Africa, possibly Egypt. Then China, and then Europe. Looks like somewhere in Germany. Nothing in the whole damn world would make me want to open this door. You've just got to have a look around here to get the impression of what it looks like in there. The fatso lives on coffee and burritos. That ought to make for an early death. A very old-fashioned safe. There's a logo on it. M.T. Schultz, Pittsburgh. Looks at least a hundred years old. I find it hard to believe that Fuller hides anything of worth in there. He's more the paranoid type that wants to protect his telephone bill from prying eyes. Huh. Seems like she's on the phone. phone while you're on the clock I'm gonna take it out of your yeah yeah whatever look I just wanted to call my mother but it was busy it's not gonna make you go bust <laughs> that broad spends the whole day on the phone right she already called up once while I was shooting that some drivel about Adrian in a mirror I hung up I got better things to do than listen to that kind of crap my mother called a and you didn't tell me the old lady's not all there in the head anymore, huh? Where are you going? You're not on your own time yet! Mom? Mom! Mom! Her heart's beating! She's alive! Mom, can you hear me? Mom! In. But she's still breathing. Okay, think, Darren. I need an ambulance. Emergency? Yes. My name is Darren Michaels. I, I, I just found my mother. She's unconscious. Take it to the hospital, but take it real easy. I'll be following in my car in a minute. How does it look? Difficult to say, Dan. She must have stumbled, and now she's got a serious head injury. Exactly how bad it is, we can only find that out in the hospital. But, but how can she fall so badly that she... It's not the time for that now. W was your mother taking any kind of medication? Uh, I, I don't know. She always has a load of painkillers for her back. It, it, no idea. Please, collect anything that looks like medication and bring it back to me in the hospital. What about allergies? Um, not that I know about. That's not good enough. Could you find out the family doctor's number? Perhaps get a hold of her medical records. Yeah, yeah, I'll go look. I'll see you in the hospital. Very good. Oh, yeah. And we need your mother's insurance card. That too? Okay, please, can you hurry? Oh, man. 
medication, insurance card, med history. I better hurry. When I was a kid, we used to always argue about how long I was allowed to watch TV. I used to be able to sit in front of that thing for hours. Now you couldn't get wild horses to drag me in front of one. I can count myself lucky the damn thing didn't completely frazzle my brain. It looks like Mom was having a cup of tea while reading, before she fell over. Oh, That's you Mom's you? medicine dispenser. There's a box for every day of the week. She always used to joke about it. She said that because of her back, she consumed more pills a day than a whole old folks home. But she never took as much as she was actually prescribed. She always maintained that she'd just forgotten to. The old home doctor then gave her the dispenser at some point. I always found it rather stupid not to take your medicine, preferring to suffer in agony. That's gotta be most of the medication, but maybe she's got more somewhere else. I should check. The cup is still half full. Why did she stand up and go over there? Maybe the phone rang? Maybe she got some bad news and, and fainted. Huh. That doesn't seem like her at all. My mother keeps her pots and pans and that kind of stuff in these cupboards. Louche tout ça, ouais, on est d'accord, hein? A few pots, a shallow bowl, plates, a tray. Huh. I'll take the bowl. Okay. Oh my god! There really is running water here. I never would have thought it. Il garde le sens de l'humour. That's where Mum indulged herself. We had an ancient wood burning stove at home that she used to cook on. She always said it reminded her of a time as a cook back in England. Mum's handbag. All her papers must be in there. Found the insurance card. Okay. There's nothing else of interest in there, and I can earn my own money. There are pictures of me and mom in the cabinet. I can't see any pictures of my father here. Mom hasn't got many of him. I guess the memory of his death is too painful for her. When I was a child, I always wanted to know who my father was. Mom told me about him, and finally showed me some pictures. That was the only time I've ever seen pictures of him. Mom watched whales with this telescope. This is a whale region. The whales swim past here twice a year on their route between Mexico and Canada. A nice one. Quite classical. And it looks quite expensive for mom's taste. You can swivel the telescope on the tripod. And hey, there's a compass attached to the top to show the direction you're looking. A nice one. Mom's bathroom. Like her old place, nothing special. We weren't poor, but my mother was always modest. And by the looks of it, so is this place. Vous reconnaissez le phare? Old lighthouse. Underneath, a sign with Willow Creek written on it. Perhaps it's from the place in England where she lived. She first came to the U.S. in her early thirties. After the accident, 
What? I had a shower here this morning, and Mom laid on a huge breakfast. I ate some of it, for her sake. Huh. Back at uni, I usually don't eat anything in the morning. On entend les voisins. Aha, some medicines. Boxes, little bottles, tubes. I'll take it all with me. I think that's it. I found all the medication. Toothpaste, face cream, no other medication in here. I had a shower here this morning, and Mom laid on it. I ate some of it. Ça fait bizarre la vue du dessus. Mom likes thrillers and horror stories, mainly old stuff, Edgar Allan Poe and the like. Perhaps it has something to do with her time in England. She's often told me that she worked in a castle that could well have come straight out of one of these books. I think the furniture is still from her time in England. Quite mm -hmm. old fashioned, but stylish somehow. What do we got here? Handkerchiefs, a glasses case, an art magazine, a few Valerian draggies. Hmm, nothing I could use. Dommage. Ah, my mother's address book. I ought to find her doctor's number in there. Okay. A bedside table lamp with a paper shade and a ceramic base. Cream colored. My mother's old bureau. That's where she keeps her letters and financial papers and such. I don't fancy poking around in there just now. A plant on the windowsill. No idea what kind it is. Looks like there's something under the flower pot. <gasps> oh, c'est une bonne cachette, ça. On apprend de la maman. Ah ouais. On apprend de la maman. My mother's old bureau. Okay. It's a beautiful lamp. Pity it doesn't work. Perhaps the bulb's gone. Uh huh. Ou peut-être que ce n'est pas une lampe. Let's see. It won't open. It's got a leather strap running from the back to the front cover, and there's a lock on it too. I need a key. Yes, and that's got the address book open. Now then, what was that doctor called? Dr. Wakefield, that's him. And here's his number. I just hope he's still got my mother's old medical records. That has to be all my mom's medication. Using this weekly pill dispenser, the doctors can be sure of the dosage. My mother's insurance card. The hospital wants it, because it's not enough just being sick. An old-fashioned kettle from my mother's kitchen. It's pretty heavy, even when it's empty. A large ceramic bowl from out of the kitchen. Je sais pas pourquoi il a pris ça, mais bon, écoutez, on verra. Hein. Hopefully the number's still okay. Dr. Wakefield, 555. Dr. Wakefield's practice? My name's Darren Michaels. I, I have to speak to the doctor. It's an emergency. One moment, please. Dr. Wakefield speaking. Uh, hello, Dr. Wakefield. This is Darren Michaels. Darren, is there something wrong with your mother? Mandy said 
Yes, she's been taken to the hospital. She's fallen over and, and taken a knock to the head. She's not responsive. My god. The hospital needs her medical history. Do you still have it? Yes, yes, we must still have it here. C can you fax it over to the hospital? Yes, of course. Hopefully nothing's happened to her back. Wouldn't the support corset protect her? Not necessarily. The corset supports her spine when she's standing up or sitting, but her back has been so badly affected since the accident that a fall can have repercussions. I don't think I want to know. I'll just go down to the hospital and find out there. Do that. I'll have the records sent to Biddeford. I hope your mother gets well soon. Yeah, me too. Give her my best wishes as soon as she's awake. I'll do that. See you later, Doc. Well, that's done. Dr. Wakefield has always cared well for Mom. With that back of hers, she could barely stand, sit, or lie down without causing her pain. And then she has the burns as well. And now this. Les brûlures, c'est obligé, c'est elle. I'll just get dressed and then go straight to the hospital. I hope she's all right. On est le fils de Samuel, je dis c'est obligé. Elle a des brûlures aussi. A coin op telephone. It says out of order. Samuel Junior, c'est ça? Uh, hello, uh, I'd like to see my mom, Rebecca Michaels. Uh, one moment. Your mother is still being examined. Have you got the medication with you? Yes, here. Oh, and I've also got the insurance stuff. When can I... Ah, thank you, thank you. I will tell Dr. Newhouse. Please take a seat for a moment. I will let you know when you can go in and see your mother. Le pauvre. En plus, il est tout seul. Excuse me, Mr. Michaels? Uh, yes? There is a problem with your mother's insurance card. It, it looks like she didn't make the last payment. Uh, I don't know anything about that. And I really don't give a damn. Obviously, it's, it's a little unpleasant, but the insurance... Look, I don't give a damn about the insurance. What's happening with my mom? How long is this thing going to take? I'm sure you'll be able to see her soon. But if we can't clear up this thing with the insurance, then we've got a problem here. You'll we'll have to... Okay, doctor. You can see your mother now. The room at the end, on the right. Mr. Michaels? I can't help it if your mother hasn't paid, or, or if the bank hasn't made the transfer, or, or if the medical insurance won't cover the treatment. Here, take the card with you and sort it out. In the end, your mother will be back on her feet, but she won't have a roof over her head anymore. Okay. Thanks. How is she? Not good, I'm afraid. The wounds to her head are quite severe. She must have fallen against the table with all her weight behind her. I is she going to... One should never give up hope. But 
Your mother's in a coma, darling. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's rather... rather uncommon for someone to wake from a deep coma. Perhaps if, if she'd been discovered earlier, then there wouldn't have been so much bleeding in her skull. You're saying that if I'd gone to her straight after our talk, then, then she wouldn't be here now, lying in a coma? But my boy, you couldn't possibly have known. Yeah, yeah, how could I have known? Fuller. Uh, sorry? Fuller! She, she phoned the photo store. She, she wanted to speak to me, and Fuller just hung up on her. Wait, no, that's completely... She was conscious and wanted help, but Fuller... <sighs> Darren, get a grip. It was an accident. No one's to blame, and you should just... Just... Just what? Simply sit here at the bedside and hope that she gets better? I... I... I can't barely believe that. Darren! You must... Thanks for your help. I... We'll look after your mother round the clock, Darren. You're welcome to stay here. I'll pop in again later. I'm not gonna stay here. I still have things to sort out. That fat bastard's gonna pay for this. <laughs> Seems to. She looks. She looks so weak. My mom always had a fighting spirit, and all this just because she tripped. Probably rushing around again, doing someone or other a favor. And then that stupid cupboard. Oh, I could. I. And Fuller. If he even. Oh, I'm gonna squeeze him dry for this. The mirror! Oh. Don't go through the mirror. Mom? Mom, are you awake? Did I just imagine that? No, I couldn't have. My wrist still hurts. She must have been terribly afraid of something. But what does she mean? It seems to... She looks... And all this just because she tripped and fuller. If you... There's a stethoscope. Presumably someone from the clinic forgot it when washing their hands. Doc Newhouse has definitely still got his. I'll take it with me. They ought to be able to rustle up another one here. C'était si soudain, mais ouais. A set of scales. Maybe for overweight patients? They certainly look a bit more solid than the ones you have in your bathroom at home. Toi aussi t'as eu peur, lol? Petit jump scare, c'est ça. I'd better leave the scales here. What would I do with scales? Typical hospital chic. D'un autre côté, maintenant, si jamais on se retrouve hospitalisé, si on veut faire peur à nos proches, on sait quoi faire. Hmm. Fais semblant de dormir. Perhaps it belongs to the patient who was here before my mother. Et dès qu'il nous dépose un truc ici, on leur prend le poignet. Le miroir. A powerful laxative. Ne t'approche pas du miroir. Sounds useful. The monitor shows my mother's vital signs: pulse, breathing, etc. No idea if the values are positive. Excusez-moi, je suis trop con. The monitor shows my mother's vital signs. Oh mon dieu, faut que j'arrête. That doesn't belong to my mom. Maybe it's from the person who was in here before her. I guess I should have packed a case like that for my mother too. Ah, on peut lui ramener des affaires quand on reviendra. Là, on était en panique. Il nous fallait les médicaments et tout. Je crois que j'ai tout regardé. Eh, moi je leur parle pas, elle m'a foutu les boules là, c'est mort, on se casse. Hey. Oh, non, je ne peux pas vous dire ça. Vous pouvez parler à son fils si vous voulez. Il est juste. Là, il est. Hey Hey You Il est bizarre. What the hell Un nurse. 
and perhaps an administrator as well. They could well be one and the same nowadays. The way things look, it seems that healing the patients is a kind of secondary activity. Hi. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? J'essaie de retracer le chemin du mec parce que c'est vraiment bizarre, je me demande ce qu'il veut. On l'a croisé dans le restaurant, il nous a bousculé et il posait des questions, mais j'ai oublié sur quoi à la serveuse. Après, on l'a vu suivre la fille qui s'est fait tripoter par Fuller, et là on le voit là, et il posait des questions sur quoi J'ai pas eu le temps de réagir parce que j'étais étonnée qu'il soit là aussi, et c'est bizarre, à chaque fois qu'il nous voit, c'est comme s'il fuyait. What do you think You reckon my mom's gonna be okay Oh, you... You never can know, but for sure there are people who come out of comas after much worse accidents than your mother's. And folks who die from much less serious accidents. You mustn't give up hope. Pray for your mother. Statistically speaking, that has no effect whatsoever. I'll save my time. What did that guy want? He was asking about your mother. What did he want to know? He wanted to know if... Uh, if... If she made it? Uh, yes. But I told him we're not allowed to give out patient information. He ought to speak to you. I don't know the guy, but he's gone out of his way to avoid me twice already. You know who he is? I'm sorry, no. But he's got an accent. I think... I think he's British. But with something else, too. Listen. I don't want that guy anywhere near my mother. You understand? Of course. This Dr. Newhouse, what's he like? Oh, he's very charming. A really nice guy. He isn't from around here. He came to Biddeford a couple of years back. My... But he's really settled and got on well, and... Yeah, yeah, nice story. I wanted to know if he was a competent doctor. Oh, oh yes, of course. He used to run a huge hospital in Atlanta. He's apparently rather overqualified to be working in a little place like Biddeford. But I think he enjoys the small town life. Your mother is in good hands. Are you from around here? You could say that. I grew up here. Then you surely must be able to tell me some exciting stories about the place. Ah, well, not really all that much happens here. You know? Oh, yeah. A young woman killed herself a couple of years back. She jumped into the ocean, and they had to call in extra divers to help search for her. They didn't save her, though. They never even found the body. But apart from that, there's never really much happening here. You mean Carrie? D did you know her? Yes, we used to go to aerobics together. Any idea why she killed herself? We'd all like to know the answer to that one. She was always so happy. We used to have lots of laughs together. But then, she changed. Mm. She also stopped coming to the sports events, and I lost touch with her. I had no idea she was having such a hard time with herself. Thanks for the info. C'est ce que nous a dit l'autre fille aussi, qu'avant elle était si joyeuse, et après elle a trop changé. C'est bizarre. About all this insurance garbage. Best to have a look through your mother's bank transfers. If she's transferred the money, then it's up to the bank and the insurance company to slug it out between themselves. You can simply drop it by with the certificate if you like. Then I'll see to it. Mm hmm. Thanks. Perhaps there are medical records or bills in the cupboard. Forms, transfers. Making people well again is just an aside. My mom told me how she feared having to spend the rest of her life in a thing like this, even long after the car crash. Her back was seriously injured, and, and no one could tell her if she would ever walk again. When the Temple of Liberty has been established, will the people know how to decorate it? <sighs> We're decorating our country of liberty with cameras. Who are people scared of? Themselves? Hmm. 
A few glossies and a health magazine. Oh well. I'll take the fashion magazine here. Oh, and the auto magazine. I don't want to just sit here and wait for some news. I can drop by at any time and ask how she's doing. Vous pensez que c'est Samuel ou aussi le gars ou pas? A soda machine chucks out various kinds of sugared water. On prend soda. A bottle of soda. Great. Tu sais pas trop? On a du soda? I don't need much more. On va vers où là? A gray door with a frosted glass window. The sign over there says pathology. Ah, c'est la morgue. I'm not particularly morbid, so I think I'll stay on this side of the door. Okay, okay. Bon. On y va. On est au commissariat. There's no choice. I can't believe I've got to scrabble around in my mother's private things so the damn insurance company doesn't let her die. I mean, what are they gonna do if I can't find any proof that my mother transferred that money? Throw her out of the door in her bed? All right, come on, Darren. A puzzle, a petit puzzle. Vous savez, ça c'est les puzzles qu'on faisait quand on était petit. Moi, j'en avais un comme ça. On a réussi. Ah oh mon dieu, j'étais en concentration intense. A packet of cigarettes. Is mom a secret smoker? Oh, there's just playing cards in it. I'd have been surprised. Pencils. Run of the mill pencils. I'll leave that here. You always need a sharpener for pencils, and I can't see any here. Huh. A little wooden box. I've never seen it before. Ah, there's Mum's transfer book. That's what I was looking for. I'll take both. Alors on a une boîte et un livre. Et je crois que c'est tout ce qu'il y a à voir. Il y a pas de bouton secret ni rien là, c'est bon Ok. The little wooden box I found in my mother's bedroom. It's quite hefty, seems to be solid wood. It won't open. There are some kind of symbols on the lid, but I can't even begin to work out what they are. It's encore un puzzle. I can't even begin okay, to work out what they are. Uh, I don't know about all this kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. Huh. I reckon that these are my mom's account transactions. This is the rent, and here's 18 bucks, 45 to the phone company. Aha, uh -huh. and here's the transfer to the insurance company. That's from last month, so she has paid. Those guys need to kick up the butt. Nice. What's this? A letter? Donc en plus elle a payé pour, pour l'assurance, c'est l'assurance qui ment. I have received your letter, and am pleased that you're well. Of course, I will furthermore send you the full amount. Your suggestion is well intended, and I wouldn't have expected anything else from you. But there's absolutely no question about your receiving any less. 
even if he has now left home. You have done a wonderful job, and it's now time that you did something for yourself. Enjoy your life in Maine. With love, C. C. C'est qui C? Strange. The full amount. Even if he's out of the house now? What's that all about? Here's my mom receiving a fat payment from... A $1,500 transfer from a bank in England. BCW Bank. Willow Creek Branch. Willow Creek? That name's familiar. Mom used to live in England, but was it in this uh, Willow Creek? And who is the C character? And why is he sending her money? Here it is again. And there. She seems to get the same amount every month. It seems to be practically her only source of income. I don't get it. She always told me she got a monthly injury compensation payment from insurance of the guy who caused the crash, which also killed my father. I definitely wasn't supposed to see that. Suppose it didn't really matter to me either. It's just that... It's just not like my mother to keep secrets from me. I... I'll ask her why she's... lied to me as, as soon as she gets better. We've already just had a few days of warm, sunny weather back to back. It's supposed to get worse tomorrow. Ouais, je vois pas du tout c'est qui c'est. C'est où l'hôpital C'est là Je vois pas, il y avait personne en C dans le premier. Bah ouais, j'ai beau réfléchir, je me rappelle pas d'un prénom en C. Hi. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? I have my mother's bank transfers here. She's already paid for the damn insurance. I was thinking the same thing myself. You know, the insurance company has made a boo-boo. Can I have them? Don't worry, I'll get on it. Oui, so that will be the hein, end of it que... then? Yes, I'll clear it all up with them. Good. Merci. I don't want to stop her from doing her job. Il y a forcément un lien avec Samuel, sinon il l'aurait pas mis dans l'intro, je pense, ouais. Et nous refais pas peur, hein Tous sur and all I can think of is her lying to me about her accident. Just what kind of a person am I? Her total sincerity and starry-eyed idealism always annoyed me. I always had an honest and decent example in my mind's eye. If I wasn't being perfect myself. But now I'm sure that she lied to me and, and I'm even more unhappy about that. What else is she hiding from me? And why? change. She's breathing peacefully and evenly, but no sign that she's conscious of what's going on around her. Whoa, that can't be right. It's the guy from the hospital with Fuller. Who is that guy? And what's he got to do with Fuller? I ought to listen in. I can still get Fuller a talking to afterwards. I can't open the door. The bell would give me away immediately. I'm gonna have to listen in unnoticed if I want to find out who this guy is and what he's doing with Fuller. Fuller lives with his mother over the store. I haven't met the old hag yet, but going from her son and that filthy mutt that she seems to love more than anything, I don't think I'm missing too much. On sait pas. Ça se trouve elle est gentille, sa mère en vrai. That's the cage for Fuller's mother's dog. But the dog is usually in the house. At least, I've never seen it here in the cage. 
Ouais, là on ne fait pas l'autre. Hmm. The water bowl is completely dry. Perhaps I can still use it. On a volé la gamelle du chien, non mais... On est horrible. An ancient rickety tool shed. This is where Fuller keeps the junk that he doesn't just throw somewhere in the yard. So, not much. On est horrible. A real efficient line. There seems to be a little still on it. Only the line, I'm afraid. No hook. A length of tow rope. A bit more than two yards long and in great condition. Ropes are always good. If somebody told me the old fat pig dumped poisonous waste, then I'd completely believe it. I don't understand why Fuller doesn't just get this stuff picked up. What does he want to keep it for? Gamelle de chien. Mm, ça peut toujours servir. Je pense. Big holes in the bottom of it. <laughs> Et tu sais, il critique Fuller après pour accumuler plein de choses qui servent à rien. Je crois qu'il devrait regarder dans ses poches. On a une bouilloire, on a un bol. The on... handle's busted off. I'm gonna leave the bucket there. There really isn't much more I can do with it. On a un truc, euh, un manche de, une anse de seau. Bah ouais. Par contre, on n'a pas de capote. I've gotta be careful. Full is talking to that guy on the other side of that window. C'est le gars le plus étrange que j'ai jamais vu. But if I'm not careful, they'll see me. I can't hear them from here. I could try to go in. I'll never get those bars out of the wall. I can forget that. Okay. Hmm. I could reach the basement through the light well. But <laughs> removing the grill would make too much noise. And apart from that, I'd never get up the creaky basement staircase quietly. Gotta find another way. <sighs> Damn, the door is locked. There's a little hook that's keeping the door locked. I've gotta reach it somehow. Huh. The window is directly above the door. Perhaps I can somehow unhook the lock through the window. Huh. Not exactly a fishing rod, but maybe I can catch something else with it. We see it comes up. That should work. I've just got to be really quiet. If the handle hits against the door, they're both sure to hear it. J'aurais dû sauvegarder avant, non Done it. And they didn't notice anything. Ok, vas-y, on entre. The door is open again. I can go in. I just hope it doesn't squeak. Yeah, Angelina. That might have been it. I wrote down the surname as well. For another ten bucks, I might even remember where I put the note. Not necessary. I know her surname. And your assistant, what about him? What assist? Oh, you mean Darren? That's my errand boy. He works here in the semester holidays. A good errand boy is worth a lot. What do you know about him? Why are you interested in him? You want to poach him from me? No problemo. For a hundred bucks, I'll even write his notice straight away. What the hell? We'll say fifty. Not interested. Do you know him well? What's with all the questions? His mother came in and asked if he could work here for a few weeks. He's a pussy! 
one of the eternally afflicted. Oh, I feel so bad, and the world is so unfair, and it all makes no sense. Boo-hoo. So you don't know him. And I've got no it... That was close. Ouais, c'est une enfure, comme tu dis. They're both heading for the exit, and I'm none the wiser. Who is this guy following, then? Me? Or Angelina? Mm. And why? Huh. I'm gonna ask Angelina about the man. She's British, and that guy's got a British accent. You never know, perhaps she knows him. But first, I've got unfinished business with Fuller. Est-ce qu'on peut rentrer, vous pensez ou pas? J'ai envie de tester un truc. Faites que je n'attire pas l'attention de l'autre. If Fuller had bought one of those trendy angular pens with, with four different colors in it, it might actually work. Dommage. Ok. J'ai tenté, j'ai tenté, et je me posais la question. Il veut nous virer pour 50 dollars Ouais, tu vas voir toi. It's locked. But I've seen how they open these things in those old classic gangster movies. I could even crack the safe. But at the moment, I don't have a good reason to put my life on the line for it. I say, I don't know what Fuller would do if he caught me. No. No? Fuller ate a microwave burrito with uh, chili chocolate turkey filling yesterday. I didn't even know that kind of thing exists. But it does. Bon, tant pis. Ouh. Il est où Hey, où est le big jellyfish Il est devant Est-ce qu'il est dans la rue Non, mais il est où That's a light box for looking at slides and negatives. It works. Yesterday, when I was tidying up the sales room, there were all these stupid afternoon talk shows on. It almost made me go crazy. Ouais, tu m'étonnes. I don't need any of them. It's rare that I even hang any of my pictures. Secret door hidden behind the photo backdrops. What? What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your hands off, Fulla. Because of you, my mother's in a coma. What have I got to do with your mother? Out, out of my basement. Go on, get out of here. You should have told me that she called. It was obvious that something was wrong. I, oh, I swear I'm gonna... You threatening me? You threatening me? If she doesn't wake up, oh, I am gonna... Out! Get out of here already! You're fired! Out! 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 You better pray she doesn't die. That's the only thing that'll save your fat ass. Get out of here! If I ever catch you here again, you'll end up next to your mother. You're gonna regret this, You'll never do anything, you pussy! You haven't got the balls! You haven't got the guts! You got nothing! I'll think of something. I'll get him back. That man's gonna pay you, just wait. But I still need the film with Angelina's pictures on it from one of his cameras. Hmm. I could use his darkroom to develop the film and make the prints. If he's not gonna pay me, 
and that'll do as a partial payment. Now all I have to do is somehow get him out of the store. Hmm. Vous avez vu la réaction qu'il a eue quand quelqu'un réagit comme ça et se met à vous crier dessus, c'est qu'il y a grave quelque chose qu'ils sont en train de cacher. Et qu'il veut pas que vous voyez en fait où il ou elle, hein, parce que les filles réagissent pareil. C'est un sentiment humain pour vous effrayer, pour que vous fuyiez, et que vous arrêtiez de fuyer pour pas que vous découvriez quelque chose. Donc là, sa petite pièce là derrière. A hydrant, just like any other one. I don't see anything special about it. I've only been here a few days. Exactly the same length of time the traffic lights have been on pause. There's so little traffic here that nobody's bothered that the lights don't work properly. It could also be that no one's actually noticed. To describe Biddeford as quiet would be an understatement. It sometimes seems to me that the place has just about died. Uh... Est-ce qu'on va aller voir là pour... Euh, on n'est jamais allé là. Un unbelievable mess of old guns and swords. Uniforms, ships, bells, radios. As long as it's old, it's sold here. Oui, on voit. Well, come on! Come on in! Take a look around. Buy okay. something. Uh, thanks. Ah, a young man. You a soldier? Um... A bit slow on the uptake. Have you served? Sir, no sir. Ah, so you want to put me on, do you? Find something for yourself and then beat it. There are three bottles on the shelf. I guess it's hard liquor. Aussi. I don't want to get drunk. I guess those are Eddie's badges from his time in the army. You got that right, boy. A cupboard full of lots of different things. Books, a record player, boxes, measuring <laughs> instruments. You want to buy something? I'll have a look around first. Yep, it's famous. I've seen this picture hundreds of times before. A pair of wire cutters for cutting cable. I'd like to buy these wire cutters. Two dollars! What? You don't want to negotiate? Oh, you got too much dough, right? Oh, you got it coming out of your ears. Never worked a hard day in your life, and you got no idea on the value of a dollar, I bet. Two dollars is two dollars. <laughs> in your time, it might have been a meal out and a movie for two. For me, it's half a burger. Be happy that you can just buy a burger like that. There ain't many beef farmers left. All that imported stuff from the third world is screwing up the prices. And pretty soon you won't be seeing a, a single lonesome cowboy herding steers across the prairie and, and singing those old trail songs around the campfire? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Typical youth humor. Shelves of useless junk. If you're just gonna bitch, then get lost. Looks like a slide projector from here. Correct. A proud representative of the last decent generation. Everything after him was the beginning of the end. The junk shop owner. He appears to be blind. Maybe he's just putting it on. That would fit with the cliche. Tell me. Why haven't you served in the military? Over there in Iraq, they could use whoever they can get. In Iraq? Uh, the war finished two years ago? Well, you don't say. Read my lips. President Bush is gonna bring that Saddam to justice. Sure. You know that uh, Bush is no longer the president, right? Well, he'll still bring him to justice. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. Sure. 
Do you know Fulla? That idiot next door? Sure I do. You can never choose your neighbors, can you? You don't seem to like him. That guy hasn't done one damn decent thing in his life. Lazy bastard just sits around in his store, has his mommy wipe his ass for him, and lets the place fall apart down around his ears. Heed my words. He represents everything that's wrong with this country. You got that right. From World War II, everything's just been downhill, yeah? Pity we haven't got any decent wars still going on. They've even ditched the draft. Go ahead. You just make fun of it all, boy. A good licking or a couple of tours in Vietnam, that wouldn't be such a... Uh, what do you mean, such a... Ah, nothing. The guy's a pig. There's something not right about him. He's hiding something, I'm telling you. En tout cas, je suis d'accord avec lui par rapport à Fuller. And who are you? Is this your shop? No! I just busted in here and you've surprised me, just as I was about to clear the place out. Oh, how amusing. How long you been waiting to roll that one out? Your generation lacks respect for its elders. I fought for you to live here. I spilt my blood for you. And I'll pay your pension. So we're quits, Mr... Edward D. Warren. Ed for short. Or... Eddie to my friends. Hello, Eddie. I'm Darren. Nice shop you got here. In my time, it wasn't customary to speak to older folks using their first name. But we're living in my time now, aren't we, Ed? I think you should find whatever it is you're after, and then scram. Just like I thought. Play the good citizen, but still chase after every dollar, like the devil chases souls. La fâche. Um... Come on, what then? So, what's life like here in Biddeford? Well, you're not from around here? Uh, no, I go to College of Boston. Oh, so you're an intellectual then? Some sort of desk guy, an egghead who just talks clever all day? No, I'm... Then you're the artistic type. Some depressive junkie? You're fixing your problems with a self-help group, right? No, I'm studying physics. Hmm. Well, we sure need that stuff. So what brings you here? I'm visiting my mother over the semester vacation. She's been living here a few months now. Rebecca Michaels? Oh. Well, nice to meet you, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, man. My mother's in the hospital here. And? Do you think she'll be in good hands there? Well, is she sick? Uh, she won't be in bad hands if she's in the hospital. No. I meant, are the doctors here any good? Well, how should I know? You think just because I'm old, I run off to the doctor and complain every day? I haven't been to see no quack in years. I'm as fit as a fiddle. Yeah, yeah. People were made of better, stronger stuff in the past, right? Yeah, yeah. Get to my age and then we'll talk about it. You know my mother by any chance? <laughs> uh, nope. I don't get out much. What's she doing here? Uh, fresh sea air and all that? You could say that, yeah. A quiet place to retire. Il travaille. Je crois qu'il voulait nous montrer un truc parce que moi je pensais que la conversation n'était pas finie. Mais apparemment aussi. An très old bizarre. radio. Looks like a piece of pro equipment. Are you a radio hobbyist? <laughs> radio hobbyist? You mean one of those idiots who thinks it's Nido Mosquito when they have another idiot on the air who only lives two blocks away? I was a wireless operator with the Hell's Devils. 8th Infantry Regiment of the 4th U.S. Infantry Division. I was there in North Africa, and in Sicily, then in Normandy on Utah Beach. I was wounded on the Rhine. That was my eyes. And I got a purple heart for it all. And so, are you still a radio guy or not? I'm keeping the tradition alive. I talk to old buddies real regular. Can reach them anywhere. I'd say I'm kind of an expert. Keep my things in good working order. Always prepared. 
Ah, okay. Good to know. Perhaps Eddie picked it up somewhere in the Second World War. Tuyau étrange. Oh, they look like bazookas. Hopefully, they're just replicas. I hope not. I prefer my Star Wars figures. Is Lucas ever going to make the fourth part? Radio encore? I bet that's an original radio set from the Second World War. It definitely doesn't look much newer. Bon, je pense avoir tout vu. Du coup, on s'en va. Au moins, on a acheté des pains, et on a appris des choses. Euh, toujours que. J'aime bien le système de la carte postale pour voyager. Vous en pensez quoi C'est mignon, non On peut pas lui parler. Où est-ce qu'on va Barre en métal. On peut ramasser une barre en métal. J'avais pas vu. A flat metal bar. It's broken away from the railings. Ah, ici. Il ramasse vraiment des trucs bizarres, lui. Hein. A bottle with a carbonated drink in it. Why do I see the bar? It's not grave. He looks at the windows. Oh! You saw what we saw? It's nice to have done that. It changes from the map traditional. Yeah, I think it's bien sympa. Oh no. Huh. The bimbo reads fashion magazines. Why is she doing that here? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Y'a un voyeur dans la ville, mais oui. Oh, it's you, the hoodlum from this morning. Yeah, well, I was in a rush. A an important job to do. No reason to be impolite. Of course not. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes? That's fine. Mais, mec... Bon, d'accord. Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? You know the Vibers? From the diner? Sure I do. What can you tell me about them? I don't uh... gossip, but her marriage ain't exactly the best. Really? Yeah. She's apparently very nice. A little jaded and stressed out. Can't ever forget her work. But him? He's an asshole. Been boozing for two or three years, and is a bit free with his fists. Why doesn't she leave him, then? Huh. <laughs> no idea. She's real dependent on him. The Donna belongs to the both of them. And besides, where would she go? Nobody would take her. D'accord, sympa. Does Fuller often get packages delivered here? Hmm. Yeah, a few times a month. Why doesn't he have the packages delivered to his store? He does, but when he's not there, the mailman delivers them here and then Fuller picks them up for himself. Do you know what was inside the package that I picked up a little while back? How should I? Huh. Hey, uh, do you know Eddie from the junk shop? Yeah, sure. I know pretty well everybody here. So what's going on with him? He's single. Was never married before either, as far as I know. But hey, who could put up with him for long anyway? Those never-ending war stories? Can you imagine that? Is he really blind? I never heard different. But I wouldn't put money on it either. He's a chiseler. Maybe he's got disability just so he can make himself a few bucks. Uh, madame, ça se dit pas. The other package for Fuller. Uh, there must be photo paper in it. Could well be. Well, can I have it? Sure. No, please. The collection note? <laughs> yes, uh, I don't have one. 
Then you'll have to ask your boss for it. Nothing goes out of here without a collection note, you got me? What can you tell me about Dr. Newhouse? The Newhouses? Well, they came here a few years back. He was a big cheese in Boston. Miss Newhouse has brought a good bit of style to this little town. I know her. My girlfriend Betty is her best friend. Really? She gossips as much, too? We don't gossip, okay? You really want to know all this stuff? Is that a girlfriend of yours? Yeah, one of my best ones. Does she sit about in this store the whole day? Excuse me? I wouldn't know what that would have to do with you. I just mean, has she got a job or not? She doesn't need one. Actually, her husband has plenty of dough. And even if he didn't, then she could easily earn good money working as a photo model. As a photo model, huh? That could maybe help me out some. Oh, really? Uh, nothing. It's okay. Along with all the tourist stuff and the mail, you're the local travel agent too, aren't you? Have you got anything about a place called Willow Creek in England? Of course we do. Take a look back there on the flyers. The other package for Fuller. There must be photo paper in it. Could well be. Well, can I have it? Sure. No, please. The... Then you'll have to ask your boss. Hmm. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ok, alors attendez. Bon, je fais... Ah, comme ça. C'est beau. Alors on en est là. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. I've noticed you're really into those fashion magazines. Are you a model? Me? <laughs> no. You're joking. Y you must have at least thought about becoming a photo model. Actually, I have been approached. Oh, well, that goes without saying. You see, uh... <clears throat> I work for a magazine from down south. Ladies and Chrome? I've never heard of it. It's the high society magazine in the south. The magazine for the top 10,000. I'm working on a piece about life and style in the far north. Really? How exciting. Maybe you have some recent photos. I'd love to show our readers what fine taste people up here in the north have. This is your stylish convertible, right? It is! And I'd be happy to be at your disposal for your story. But I don't have any photos. That shouldn't be any problem. There's an excellent photographer in town, isn't there? Fuller? You can't be serious. That savage would never be able to like me properly. Oh, so you don't know. What don't I know? Who Fuller really is. He's an internationally renowned star photographer from New Zealand. He's been living here incognito for a few years. He's working on his life's work. He's uh, documenting normal folks' lives here in America. Uh, of course, he's got to stay unrecognized to do that. That's... No, I can't believe that. I swear. In a few years, when, when he's finished his work, it'll be the photographic sensation of the decade. I... I can't believe it. I, show me some of his pictures, then we'll see. Well, uh, um... All right, then. But, but don't run away. No way. And notre personnage, il est quand même... Euh, comment dire? My god, what a lame story. <laughs> But vanity has always been the biggest weakness for those kind of folks. If I can show her a few reasonable photos, then perhaps she'll lure Fuller out of the shop for me. 
Il a aucune conscience et il va envoyer une fille dans le... Look, uh, I've got a few of Fuller's earlier works. Really? Show me! Which pictures are by him? Um, oh, that one there. Uh, oh, and there too. Oh, and here's another one. Exactly. Yeah, that one here. They're really wonderful. It was all just for the money. In reality, he's an artist, you see. But the project here in Biddeford is his real passion. Living incognito amongst us common folks, working on his masterpiece. Can you imagine what an effort it must have been for such a cultivated and refined man like Fuller to play a, a primitive, stinking, sweaty asshole? That's true art. You should call him. Leave. He could photograph you in your car up on the clifftop. Now? Yeah. Oh, oh, unfortunately, I've got to hurry, my lady. Uh, I've got a deadline to meet in Dallas, you see. Oh, of course. I'll call from my car phone and arrange a photo shoot. <laughs> oh, excellent. Uh, oh, but don't let him realize that you know his true identity. Who knows what that do to his artistic spirit. I understand. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Shall we meet here again this evening? Agreed. Comment elle a fait pour gober ça? <laughs> Unbelievable. Incroyable, en effet. Alors la carte postale. That's a postcard, but I first want to see if Fuller has really left the store. I gotta go straight there. <laughs> oh. Il sort, ça marche. De toute façon, lui, une fille lui dit Ah, tu pourrais me prendre en photo pour un photoshoot, s'il te plaît J'ai entendu que tu étais un grand photographe. Il est mort. Now I ought to have a few hours to get Angelina's film and develop some pictures in the dark room. Oh là là, la pauvre. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait là Est-ce qu'on peut rentrer par la porte de devant ou c'est trop dangereux Est-ce qu'il nous a viré Mais est-ce qu'il nous a pris les clés There's a notice hanging on the door. Back soon. Il n'a pas repris les clés. But I bet the fuller hasn't checked the back door. Il a repris les clés. Ok. Zut. Zut de flûte. Je ne vois que le numéro. Il y a. Est-ce que c'est comme ça aux États-Unis parce qu'il y a 86, 85, mais c'est sur le même côté de la rue. Il n'y a pas côté père et impair. Je ne sais pas si vous avez vu. Est-ce que c'est là qu'on fouille dans le coffre Attendez. Attendez. Ça se trouve la note elle right. est dans le coffre. Let's see. Okay. I know I need to enter five numbers. I should be able to hear if the lock clicks into place with the stethoscope. When it does, then you need to turn it in the other direction afterwards. But I need to get a move on. Fuller's had a clock built into it, so there's a time limit. Okay. Il y a un minuteur, les amis. Vous êtes prêts? Okay. J'ai peur. Ah non. Comment je fais pour tourner de l'autre sens? Hey, that sounds good. Good, c'est génial. Yes, there you go. 
Qu'est-ce qu'il y a dedans Aha, a film cartridge. Those will be the photos of Angelina. Et la note Et la note Well, apart from that, there's just a few papers, a folder, and uh... Whoa, a pistol. Merci, merci. I'd better leave everything where it is. As soon as I've developed the pictures and made copies, I'll pay Angelina a visit in the hotel. I... I could really do with a bit of a distraction. Calme-toi, mec, calme-toi, ok? Euh... Moi, j'aurais caché le flingue quelque part parce que j'ai un peu peur du mec. There's nothing more that interests me in the safe. Je l'aurais enterré dans le jardin, le flingue, je crois. Ou quelque part, quelque chose Fuller's comme ça. old fashioned telephone. Ça, peut-être. Est-ce qu'on va trouver des trucs intéressants? On peut pas aller fouiller la pièce là. fixed firmly to the wall. It's glued to a wooden pole at the bottom that's held to the wall with two clips. Fuller's secret doors behind it. Ah ouais, mais Oh, c'est les cordes. Vas-y, on va tirer les cordes. Il va savoir que j'ai touché. Remonte-moi ça. Oh bon, autant lui descendre toutes les toiles, hein, comme ça il saura pas qu'on est passé. Hein. Bah ben voilà, on va lui mettre 36 toiles devant sa porte, il va être content. Vous en pensez quoi mmh. Ouais. That's just the tripod. Of course, Fuller took his camera with him to the photo shoot with that bimbo. La caisse. Est-ce qu'il aurait mis le coupon dans la caisse On my first day, my friendly boss made it very clear to me that he kept an exact account of the amount of money in the till. A little hint that I shouldn't consider ripping them off. Develop Angelina's film here, and then make some prints. Let's see, what do I need to develop the film? The film with Angelina's pictures on it, and developer fluid. There ought to be some fixer around here, and the developing drum is there on the table. That's a photo enlarger. You put the developed film in the top and then lay a sheet of photo paper on the table below. The picture is projected onto the sheet and so exposes the paper at the same time. Basically, it's just a powerful lamp with a lens in front of it. A bit like a slide projector, or something similar. The undeveloped film is placed in this container. Then the developer fluid is added, and after a short while, the film is developed. Hmm. Now I wonder... There might be a mention of this Willow Creek place in these travel guides. Really? Willow Creek pops up in the index. Page 42, section Horror, Hauntings, and History. Let's see. Mais c'est génial! There it is. Only a small box. Willow Creek on the trail of the killer. Willow Creek on the trail of a killer. Fans of the macabre will certainly get their money's worth in Willow Creek. For in this sleepy little English town is where you can wander in the footsteps of Samuel Gordon, the Worcestershire Ripper. The scion of one of England's oldest families, the Gordon's castle lies close to the town, but is unfortunately not open for guided tours. Murdered five people in 1981. Among these was Victor Valley, who was just 12 years old. The Willow Creek Museum awaits the horror-friendly visitor with a permanent display relating to the murders, as well as guided tours from April through to October. Charming little town. And from this horror resort is where my mom gets her monthly payments. Wonderful. 
I don't want to read that again. The Warriors, whatever, Shire Ripper. Five dead. Guided tours through the pools of blood. Ugh. Not interested. Hmm. A guy in a uniform. Seems to be a security guard. Someone who guards over other people's money for money. The pinnacle of our society. I don't want to speak to him. If I felt like some casual conversation, I'd watch a talk show. Mrs. Biber. Yes, what can I get you? I no longer work for Fuller. Good for you. I don't know what's going on between you and Fuller, but I've got nothing to do with it. Mind if I ask you a few things? If it's not gonna take too long. Can you tell me anything about Carrie? She's supposed to have killed herself? Yeah. Carrie. She was a really sweet girl. Always ready to help. Always friendly. She wanted to open a kindergarten here. There's not much in the way of childcare around here. The parents have to take their kids for miles to find a place. She was such a lovely girl. She still had her whole life in front of her. I saw a photo of her in Fuller's shop window. She was really pretty. I don't know. Poor thing. How do you mean? Uh, it's not important. Too late anyway. What can you tell me about Bedford? I grew up here. I guess I always wanted to move away from here. But, well, that never happened. Well, I met my husband when I was 17. And we opened the diner here. It was a wonderful time. Ah. Yes. I couldn't have known then that he was so... That he... I... I have to get back to work. You want anything else? Est-ce qu'on parle à son mari pour voir? They got two or three people working in the kitchen. One of them's Mr. Biber. Mrs. Biber works out here on her own. Looks like she really works her butt off. I'll take some bread. Mrs. Batman won't mind. There's everything you'd expect from a diner. From breakfast and lunch, to coffee and cake, right up to dinner. The specialty is, of course, lobster. Like everywhere around here. I have to admit, they are pretty tasty. I'm not gonna feel any better if I stuff my pockets full of bread. Ketchup, mustard, mayo, salt, pepper, syrup, sugar. Hmm, and a bottle of vinegar. There's not much left. I don't think anyone will miss it. Okay, je prends. There's a few papers here, some sort of forms, and a pad of blank collection notes. I would imagine that the enchanting Rosie might possibly have some objection to my palming a blank collection note. Very me. Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? Is there maybe a package for me there, uh, Darren Michaels? Mm-hmm. The lovely Rosie hasn't noticed, and I'm now the proud owner of a blank collection note. No, nothing there. Okay, maintenant, on combine stylo à billes avec bon de retrait vierge. I better not fill out this collection note right under Rosie's nose. Okay, okay. Donc on va aller à l'hôpital. Maintenant qu'on est dans la rue, tu veux bien le faire Good. Ok. 
Il est en train de le faire. Devant la flic. Je vous rappelle qu'on est en discret. Voilà. Ah si, on voit tout ce que j'ai pris. Mais je vois pas la barre et tout, c'est bizarre. Bon d'accord. Ok. Ok. Hey Rosie, hard at work I see. What do you want? I wanted to pick up Fuller's package with the photo paper. No, please. I can't accept that. Why not? It's not signed. Fuller has to sign the note? Stupid. The mailman, of course. Fuller should ask him tomorrow morning. He probably just forgot when he was posting the note through Fuller's door. It's not possible for me to wait till tomorrow. Huh. The news of my mother's accident seems to have spread quickly. A couple of people have already sent flowers. No change. She's breathing peacefully and evenly, but no sign that she's conscious of what's going on around her. So many greetings and get well wishes. I think she's very active in the community. She's probably got a lot of new friends here. Lots of different people have sent my mother cards. This one's signed P. Puck. Wait a minute. That's the mailman. The mailman signed it. So now I've got a sample. I think I could forge his signature really well. Good. I've got the original. I guess the signature is kinda half decent. Ok, maintenant on devrait pouvoir retirer le papier photo. Hey Rosie. Hard at work I see. What do you want? I wanted to pick up Fuller's package with the photo paper. <sighs> no, please. Hmm. So how did you manage to scare up the old fart? Yeah, I bumped into him in the town. You were lucky. Here, Fuller's photo paper. Much okay. obliged. Alors, agrandisseur. Basically, it's just a powerful lamp with a lens in front of it. A bit like a slide projector, or something similar. That's a photo enlarger. You put the developed film in the top and then lay a sheet of photo paper on the table below. The picture is projected onto the sheet and so exposes the paper at the same time. Ça a l'air un peu compliqué. Alors moi j'aime bien qu'on me montre d'abord et une fois qu'on m'a montré, là je, je fais, An tu A4 vois. size package. Fairly heavy. Either it really is photographic paper, or it's full of dirty mags for the week. It's still too light here. I'll put the light out when I stop at the film development. De quoi? The dish for the water bath. After the picture becomes visible in the developer bath, the development process is stopped in the water bath. A flat dish about A3 size. If you're making photo prints in it, you have to have diluted developer in it. Corbeille à papier. A completely normal waste bin. I'll make a note of that in case I want to throw anything away. D'accord. Oh. A bottle of distilled water. I'll take that with me. Pellicule. First of all, light off. Ouais, vas-y, éteins la lumière. Il fait rose. First, I ought to get everything together that I'm going to need to develop the film. 
Du fixateur. Il me manque du fixateur. Ok. Alors on va fixer ce problème. Un A4 size package. Fairly heavy. Either it really is photographic paper, or it's full as dirty mags for the week. Ah, nice. 50 sheets of top quality photo paper. Ok, on a le papier. Ok, super. Ah, mais tu m'as déjà dit ça. Mais du coup, je comprends pas. Est-ce que je mets le papier ici Ouais. Le papier est là dans le frame. The distance of the lens from the paper seems fine for the picture to be projected properly. Ok. Fixateur Fixateur C'est là J'avais pas pris la bouteille, les gars, regardez Fixateur Oh Alors là, maintenant, j'ai tout ce qu'il faut, on est d'accord. A small bottle of photographic fixer. There's not a lot left in there. But it ought to do for one more use, I think. Prends-le. Merci. Ok. Maintenant, normalement, j'ai tout. Alright. Now I've got everything I need to develop the films. Yes Let's go. Alors maintenant on met euh, la pellicule ici. S'il te plaît, vas-y, merci. The film is in the developing drum. The developer's still missing. Développeur. Euh... Donc on a déjà mis l'eau distillée là-dedans. On remet, on remet, on remet de l'eau distillée, comme That's ça... Euh... Now there's just the developer to go with it. Il n'y a plus qu'à verser le révélateur. Alors, révélateur... C'est ça, vas-y, mets-le. Ok. I reckon the dilution is okay at that. Ok, c'est good. Révélateur dans celle-ci, vas-y. That's the dish for the stop bath. You can only put distilled water in it. Ah ben excusez-moi, alors euh, on va mettre de l'eau distillée dans celle-ci. Vas-y, mets de l'eau distillée. Ok. That would be the stop bath. Alors révélateur. C'est ça, il faut mettre dans le flacon de révélateur. Good. Now the developer is oxidizing. It gives off electrons, which are then picked up by the silver ions in the light-sensitive layer of the film. The more light that falls on a location, the stronger the reaction. And so the place then turns darker. In short, mm -hmm. the film is now being developed. Okay, I guess the film has to be developed now. Donc attends, c'est il a dit que c'était pour euh, stopper et ça c'est pour mettre. Donc je pense qu'il faut mettre d'abord la dent et ensuite pour stopper ici. Hein. Là je mets fixateur dans le flacon de révélateur. Ouais, il y a de quoi se mélanger les pinceaux. Pourtant c'est pas la peinture hein. Oh well, that's the end of the fixer. But what was left ought to have stopped the development process. I hope everything's worked. Mais moi aussi, hein, parce que là, sinon, mec. Euh... Alors attends. Et si j'ai bien compris, j'ai pas envie de faire de conneries. On prend ça. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait Qu'est-ce qu'il fait So far, so good. Ok, ok. Oh, super, on a des petites pellicules. Ok. Alors Agrandisseur. film has been put in. Then let's have a go. The longer I leave the lamp on, the more contrast the picture gets. Let's try it. 
って。Faut mettre là-dedans Je sais pas du tout ce que je fais. Hein. Je fais n'importe quoi. Je crois que c'est là-dedans et après pour stopper là-dedans. Ah, here we go. I have to take the sheet out as soon as it has the correct brightness. Okay. Too early, it stays too light. Too late, it'll get too dark. Vous en pensez quoi comme ça C'est bien. Et si j'ai bien compris, ensuite euh, il faut mettre dans la cuvette d'eau. Je suis pas sûr, ça se trouve je fais une grosse connerie. Mais je crois qu'il a dit c'était pour stopper. Si c'est bon. Ah, the contrast is good and the brightness is right too. But the picture itself is garbage. I can't do much about that. Maybe some of the other pictures are better. Well, at least the exposure and development time seem to be right. I'll try it again. Uh, okay, donc il faut remettre du papier. The sheet is lying in the frame. The distance of the lens from the paper seems fine for the picture to be projected properly. The developer drum has done its job. I can simply leave the fixer in it. <sighs> okay then, let's try again. Ah, I have to measure the exposure time exactly. Too short and there won't be enough contrast. Too long will give me too much. Okay, I think that's enough time. Ok. Ah, here we go. I have to take the sheet out as soon as it has the correct brightness. Too early, it stays too light. Too late, it'll get too dark. Je crois que j'ai, j'ai, euh, je me suis trompé ou pas? Je sais pas. Vous en pensez quoi de la lumière comme ça, ça va Hmm. Huh. The contrast is good, but the picture's too light. Next time I need to leave the paper lying a bit longer in ouais, the Ouais, je m'en doutais que j'ai fait trop tôt. OK. On recommence. Sheet is lying in the frame. <sighs> okay, I think that's enough time. Okay. On y va. Pourquoi on voit que dalle Ah ok ok. Vous en pensez quoi là Peut-être que j'ai laissé un... J'ai laissé trop longtemps. Mais c'est pas vrai, moi j'ai bien arrivé. Je crois que j'ai laissé trop longtemps. Qu'en pensez-vous Yes, I've really ah, oui. got it now. Brightness and contrast are correct. If Fuller only okay, had any idea about photography, then maybe even the picture would be good too. Maybe the next one. This could well take some time. No, it's not bon. I've left it too long. 36 pictures and not one of them actually any good. How can a guy take a beautiful woman like Angelina and then photograph her so yes, badly? Yes. But I can't do much about that. The pics have been snapped and I gotta take them to her at the hotel. At least I get to see her again. And it's also not my fault that the pictures are bad. What the? Pousse caché. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait? Il y va? Faut pas montrer qu'on est là. 
Mrs. C'est qui J'ai pas eu le temps de lire. Oh, Mrs. Biber. Can I help you, Mrs. Biber? Oh. What are you doing here? I, I thought you quit. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I, I have. I'm just picking up my stuff. Oh, right. Is Fuller there? Uh, no, not at the moment. Then, uh, then, can you give him this? Mm -hmm. Give it to him, personal. As soon as he gets back, I, I gotta go. I feel sorry for her. There's something not right going on here. Could it help me get one over on Fuller? Huh. But I can't put Mrs. Biber in danger. She gives the impression she can't take much more. If I could secretly open the envelope, then, then I could look at what's inside and put the envelope in the mailbox later. That would keep Mrs. Biber out of trouble. But how can I open the envelope and close it again without Fuller noticing? Uh, no, I've, already I've... Developed Ang... I've already developed Angelina's photos. I'd better get out of here before. Okay, on s'en va alors. Est-ce que vous avez déjà décollé des timbres d'enveloppe si, si vous avez fait des collections de timbres Eh bien, c'est pareil pour ouvrir des enveloppes sans que vous voulez. Quand on vous, quand on vous voit. Oui, Becca. Jamais. On, on peut faire aussi avec de la vapeur de fer à repasser. Contre, euh, bouilloir rempli. Hey, the steam could undo the glue. Oh, let's try. Ok, c'est ça. Avec la vapeur et It's la steam. The steam's loosening the glue. Got it. The paper hasn't torn and the glue still sticks. I can reseal the letter. But first. I want to see what's inside. Holy, that's got to be a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars. There's some kind of blackmailing going on here. Mrs. Biba hates Fuller, and, and she didn't want her husband to see that I gave her a letter from him this morning. It would seem he knows nothing about it. But what's it about? Sex? Oh, surely not with Fuller. Something to do with the diner, or... Or from Biba's past? I'd love to send Fuller off to jail for blackmail. But first I gotta find out what he's blackmailing Mrs. Biber with. But tomorrow's another day. I'll put the letter in Fuller's mailbox and get myself ready for my date with Angelina. He pense vraiment qu'à ça lui. Il est omnibilé par ça. On prend une douche avant? I had a shower here this morning, and Mom laid on a huge breakfast. I ate some of it, for her sake. Huh. Back at uni, I usually don't eat anything in the morning. Alors mec, tu vas à un rendez-vous avec quelqu'un qui te plaît, même si t'as déjà pris une douche ce matin, tu reprends une douche maintenant. Ouais. <rire> bon allez, on va à l'hôtel. The hotel seems to have few guests. But in this season, you'd normally expect a bit more to be going on. Maybe the others have seen the weather report. There's a storm getting up. And who wants to be stuck in a hotel on the Atlantic in the rain? Both cars have main plates. So maybe they aren't even guests. Or maybe they're rental cars. 
et les clapotements de l'eau. It's not exactly like the Florida or Californian beaches. The water here is way too cold to swim in it for long. I'm not climbing down there without a good reason. Looks very cozy. I bet you get a fantastic view of the whales from the veranda. But you know, that reminds me of my favorite film, Whales of August. That genius Vincent Price. In a really unusual role. Plenty of people say that the New England coastal towns look Scandinavian. But I doubt if they build such big houses over there. I reckon this place was purposely built as a hotel. It's too big for an ordinary house. The owners probably live in some of the rooms. The majority are rented out. Yeah, on va nous appeler la police dessus, tu sais. The back room seems to be an office. Desk, files. Mm. I don't really like to climb into other people's houses. Well, not without a good reason. Ok, on y va alors. On rentre par l'entrée alors. Puisqu'il veut pas faire plus de bêtises qu'il ne l'en fait déjà. Bonjour. There are a few magazines lying around here. Recommendations for trips, tourist information, nothing of interest to me. Est-ce que vous êtes impatient pour le rendez-vous? Excuse me. Yes, please. You know my mother, Rebecca Michaels? Rebecca? Well, of course! We sit together on the tourist board! You're her son? How is she? Not good, I'm afraid. She's lying in the hospital. She had a fall. Oh, my dear boy, that's... I'll let my wife know right away. We'll send her a card. Well, if you like. So what are you doing here, then? Shouldn't you be with your mother? I'm gonna go see her again later. Well, please, give her our best wishes. Yes, of course. Does the hotel belong to you? It sure does. My grandfather built it, and I've been running it for the past 15 years. Do you live here with your family? It's like this. The guests value the quiet family atmosphere here. It really is something quite special to stay in a small, family-run hotel. I can't bear those awful tower block hotels in the holiday resorts. And at some point your children will take over the running of it? Yes, I hope so. My daughter's studying to be a hotelier in Switzerland. I only hope that our hotel here doesn't end up being too small and provincial for her. Uh, my son, well, he's got rather different interests. What's he doing then? Now, he's a musician. Really? Yes. He even thinks he can make a living out of it. <laughs> Some people live very nicely from it. What does he play? He plays an electric bass in a, in a band. I, I think it's called punk rock. And you're worried about that? Hmm. A private sign hangs on the door. The owner and his family live in this building. Behind the door is either their living quarters or an office. On va se faire engueuler, vous êtes prêts? <coughs> Young man, those rooms are private. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't know that. Il y a le gros signe, tu sais. Oh, on savait pas. <laughs> bon, allez, on arrête nos conneries et on va voir uh, Angelina. I should be looking after my mother or beating the crap out of Fuller's fat face. But instead, I'm standing here with a stomach full of butterflies. Oh, I don't know what it is about her. But man, I got it bad. All right, let's go. Il les papillons dans le Come ventre. In. Ça fait. Non, ça c'est un oiseau. C'est un pigeon. Hello, ça. Angelina. Uh, have I come at a bad time? No, no. Come in. 
I've got the pictures with me. Here. Oh, great! Uh, to be honest, it's anything other than great. The wrong lighting, pathetic composition. Fuller has really no idea what he's doing. I thought that might be the case. I'm sure they would have been better if you'd taken them. How would you take my picture? Uh, well... Um, your face should... Well, um... Just do it! Huh? Don't tell me that you, the would-be star photographer, haven't got a camera with you. Uh, sure. <laughs> of course. Come on, then. I still need a present for my parents' wedding anniversary. Very nice. Uh, the, the light is perfect. Have you been living here long? Oh, uh, I don't live here at all. I study in Boston. My mom just bought a house here a few months ago. What, uh, w what brings you here? <laughs> Look over that way. Yeah, like that. Uh, are you an actress or something like that? You got it. I'm a famous English actress on my way to Hollywood. No, but seriously. I study literature and history in England. I'm interested in English immigrants in America. Their aspirations, their dreams, their reality. Wow, that's interesting. If you say so, we'll see. I wanted to drift a bit, collect some life stories. I don't yet know exactly how I should organize the work. My mother's from England, too. She came over here more than 20 years ago. Really? Do you think I could talk to her? That... isn't possible at the moment. Th that's a very pretty bracelet. Oh, thank you. I got it from my grandmother. She was always there for me. Unfortunately, she died last year. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Thanks. But you don't need to be. She was very ill at the end, you know? It was a relief for her. She gave me this bracelet shortly before she died. I'm sure you'll find it silly, but I always have the feeling that she's near me and looks after me. Perhaps we could do a few more special pictures? For your portfolio. I always wanted to have a few photos of myself as a model. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> um, so, uh, I don't know, uh... <clears throat> What did you have in mind? Mm, I thought maybe like this. Et donc la grand-mère qui est toujours à côté, Or qui veille sur elle, voit ça. This. Et elle aurait pas dû dire ça parce que moi je serais le gars, moi ça me couperait direct, tu like sais. This. En train de penser qu'il y a le fantôme de la grand-mère qui se tient à côté, là, comme ça, et qui regarde tout ce qu'il faut. C'est le truc à me dire, oui, merci. Plus tard. That's it. The film is full. Oh. Shame. It's just getting warmed up. Hmm. What do you say we go for a meal? I... Actually, I'm not hungry yet, uh, but... <laughs> Tonight. In the diner. I'll pay. In return for the photos, okay? Um, yes. Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, then. See you tonight. Can you develop the pictures by then? Yeah. Um, yeah, no problem. I'm looking forward to it. Jeez. Ben non, y aura pas de bisous. That was certainly oh. something. Yes, Miss Angelina Morgan has a room here. Would you like to leave her a message, or would you like to go out? How many nights has she booked? Damn, no more pictures on the film. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but... You'll have to ask Miss Morgan herself. I can't. All right. Brown comb back hair, a long straight nose, eyes close together. Which room is she in then? I'll inform her that you're here, Mr. That won't be necessary. I'll come back later. 
thin lips, sallow skin, angular face, pointed chin. But please, don't tell her I was here. It's supposed to be a surprise. I... Hello? What's wrong? Sir? And he's gone. What does this guy want? Ouais, c'est vrai que c'est très bizarre. Excuse me. Yes, please. Since when has Miss Morgan been staying here? Hmm. You seem to be her friend. Ask her yourself. We run a very discreet hotel here. Would that be the case if I were to leave a 20 on your counter? Il est comme Samuel. Sorry. Ah, uh, nothing. This guy, uh, the one who was asking about Miss Morgan, had you seen him before? Sorry, no. I, he came in and asked me a few questions. Then he disappeared. A strange fellow. Do you know him? No, but I think he shouldn't be let near Miss Morgan. Of course not. I call upstairs, and only when the young lady agrees do I let him up. And he can't come creeping around here? Well, that possibility can't be completely excluded. But you can only open the doors from outside, with a key. Huh. Well, great. I need to develop the pictures yeah. before my date, but I can't get into Fuller's dark room anymore. So I'll have to get by with just domestic items. Mum's bathroom will make a great substitute dark room. I've still got the remains of the photo paper. And I've got developer. I need a red light, two flat dishes, and a little acid to use as a fixer. And something to do the exposing with. A projector, for example. I'll write everything down so I don't forget anything. And I still absolutely have to put Mrs. Biber's letter through Fuller's letterbox. I just hope the two haven't spoken to one another yet. <sighs> what a day. This chain of lights is gonna stay dark to me. Sorry, Mrs. Biber? Psst. Hey. Ça fait encore plus suspect. Hein. Okay. What is it? You really want Fuller to have it? You still haven't given it to him? You You've got to give it to him. Fuller can't yes. You've got to give him the envelope right away. Please. I only mean that if I can help you in some way, I could, um... Claire! If the guy doesn't want a drink, then get on with it! I'm not gonna get anywhere here. Mrs. Biber won't tell me a thing. Or she can't. Her husband's on her back all the time. The bathroom will make a good dark room. It's got no windows, and it's tiled. Perfect. Now I just need all the equipment. I need two bowls, a makeshift fixer, and an enlarger. Alors, two bowls, c'est quoi ça? Hein? A large ceramic bowl from out of the kitchen. Et c'est quoi ça? I can use that thing for the stop bath when I develop the pictures. Eh? The container of photo developer. There's still enough in it to develop a few more photos. Et ça c'est quoi? A bottle of distilled water. You can use it for, among other things, stopping the development of films and prints. Voilà. Et ça c'est quoi? The vinegar can work as a fixer. The developer's alkaline, and because
because it's an acid, vinegar can stop the development process. Is this a A red bulb from the chain of lights outside Biba's diner. I need it for my improvised dark room. Voilà, alors tu as tout là maintenant. Hein? Voyons voir. J. Mom's into music. That's one thing we have in common. Though our tastes are a little diverse. Mom's Beethoven doesn't mix that well with Nirvana or Pearl Jam. Morning! Come on! Oh, it's you. How do you know that? I thought you were blind. You stink of perfume. Like a whorehouse I once visited in Lille. Smells like teen spirit. Uh, if you say so. Je peux pas cliquer dessus. Um. Come on, what then? How do you get on? I'm blind. How the hell do you think I get on? You idiot. Does it hinder you a lot? Well, sometimes. If I need to look something up. Look here. I'm supposed to figure out what this coin's worth, and I got no idea. It's a rare piece, but it's pretty worn out. Can I help you with it? Oh, sure, kid. If you think I'll fall for that, I give you the coin, you run out the door like a punk. I ain't stupid. Yeah, yeah. How you getting on with the coin? You got nothing better to do than annoying me. If I find out the price of the coin for you, will you stop behaving like an ass? Hmm. Can't promise. Show it to me. You can keep it in your hand. Easy. A woman's profile, a few stars and numbers. Have you got something like a like a coin catalog? Yep, it's on the counter. That's a flowing hair scent, wreath reverse, from 1793. $2,400. Not bad. $2,400. I'll offer him $800. Seller's an idiot. Thanks. I owe you one. Oh, I'm happy to help old, disabled people put one over on the other folks. You're welcome. Perhaps, uh, you could do me another favor right away. I, uh, lost my cane. You've done what? How can you lose a cane? Not how you think. I was playing poker and, uh, had a slam dunk hand. But how could I know that that idiot from the hotel had a straight flush? <laughs> you bet your cane and lost. Yeah. Uh, who's got it now? The owner of the Wild Coast Hotel. All right, then. I gotta pass by there anyway, so I'll ask him. Thanks. You know, maybe you ain't so much of a idiot as I thought. On commence à gagner son respect. Ok, on va lui chercher sa canne. Excuse me. Yes, please. I've heard that you have poker games here every now and again. Could I maybe sit in on a game? I ask you, please. This is a respectable hotel. We don't condone illegal gambling. Mais bien sûr. I'd like to get back into playing poker. I'd be interested in a blind man's white cane as a bet. Yes, nice. <laughs> we sometimes play a little game or two of poker here. <laughs> but nothing public. Quite private. Never for high stakes. Wouldn't you say that for a blind man, a white cane would be quite a high stake? He wanted to bet with it. You know what? I think I'll inform the police about your game. I mean, that can't be right now, can it? You can't take a cane away from a blind man. Well, go ahead and call the cops. I've got nothing to hide. I won the cane fair and square. You, you can ask the other players. If you say so. 
So what was that again about the, the fair and square win in an illegal gambling game in a respected local hotel? What would Rosie think if I told her about it? What would other people think, in fact? Taking the cane from a blind man. What a devious, slimy character you are. No, please, don't do that. I... I am sorry. I really didn't want the cane, you know. Eddie just didn't have any more dough with him, and he threw it in as a guarantee. How much did he stake on it, then? Oh, it's not worth talking about. That's a hundred bucks, anyway. You seeing him today? I could give you the cane. <laughs> give him my best, and tell him he can consider it a gift from a good old friend. Well, great. I'll take it with me and pass it on to Eddie, then. And give your mother my best when she wakes up. Yeah, yeah. We have a okay? date later. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, okay. I think I'd better keep the thing with the weird guy to myself for the time being. I don't want to worry her. And at the mm. moment, I don't even know whether the guy is following me or her. Hmm. Perhaps I'll tell her about it this evening. Ok, donc non, on ne peut pas aller lui parler. Tant pis, j'ai essayé. Your blind man's cane. Well, thanks. You know you're smarter than you sound. Je suis de l'autre côté. Best put it by the door. Tu parles à la porte, là, Eddie. Enfin, tu parles au meuble. Il est vraiment well, aveugle. Listen, uh, if I can help you out in any way. You just ask. Okay. About the slide projector. It ain't for sale. I don't want to buy it. I, I just need it for a while. I want to borrow it. I I did help you with the coin and got your blind man's cane back. Hmm. That's true. Okay, take the projector, but bring it back today. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll bring it back today and undamaged. Good. Good. Okay. All right. I've got everything I need to develop the pictures. It's gonna take a bit of time, so let's get going. Got the pictures. Huh. They've come out quite well, considering the conditions I had to develop them in. Apparemment, ouais, on les a. All the stuff that I need for developing is in the bathtub. I hope I won't be needing it for a while. I'm just gonna take any slide projector. I wish I could make some reprints of some of the pictures. But there's no more photo paper left. But I'm gonna keep at least one. On va rendre le projecteur à, à notre ami là. Tiens, je te rends ton projecteur. Eddie Je crois qu'on peut pas lui rendre. <rire> Eddie I don't want to talk to him at the moment. Ah bon bah écoute, on lui donne, on pas tout de suite j'imagine. Dur car oui, il faut pas filer l'argent mais elle risque d'avoir des ennuis après. Bah ouais c'est ça. Bah écoute, on va donner l'argent. Quelle grosse erreur. Oh, Hopefully he doesn't take too much pleasure in it. I'll go and visit my mother one more time, and then I'll get ready to go out. Le soir. And you think that the guy is following me? A student from England? Why? No idea. I, I didn't say that he is following you. I, I only said that he might be. 
Perhaps it's me he's following. It's all right, Darren. I didn't mean to upset you. What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just all too much for me at the moment. My mom's in the hospital, there's this thing with England, and then this guy. Which thing with England? Yeah, well, my mom, she gets money from England. A, a village called Willow Creek. Do you know it? Uh, yes. I even know roughly where it is. I think it's a place where my mom worked as a cook. And she still gets money from there? Her plum pudding must be heavenly. <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, that's more than 20 years ago. Who's sending her over a thousand dollars every month? And for what? I found this box next to the bank transfers. Huh. I've never seen it before. And that coat of arms with the three lions? That's an English emblem, isn't it? It is. What exactly are you doing? I just thought you maybe wanted to see what's inside. Do you know how to open it? There were thousands of these caskets produced in the 19th century. There's a special kind of lock mechanism that's supposed to keep curious people out. Well, it didn't really work. What's inside? A photo. C'est qui? Est-ce que je reconnais pas notre mère et je reconnais pas non plus Samuel? A man and a woman in front of a wrought iron gate. Is that your mum? And the man, is that your father? Is there anything written on the back? Black Mirror Castle, Willow Creek, England, October 1969. What's wrong? My mom. Je crois qu'elle était blonde, notre mère. Darren? Do you? Do you think she looks five months pregnant? Et voilà. Le chapitre 2, mes amis de The Black Mirror, vous êtes prêts Sortez votre popcorn.